Welcome to Anderton's TV, my name is Hannah and today we're looking at the TC Helicon Perform V which is this super cool product right here. So let me give you a quick overview of the buttons we've got and the different functions we've got on this pedal. So on the left here we've got our main effect, so we've got double, reverb and echo which you can go in and edit but we'll come back to that. Across the top here we've got a gain set button, again we'll come back to that and we've got our tone, anti-feedback, pitch, an option of whether we're going to use a compressor mic or not with our um, phantom power um, and then some different preset buttons down the side here. We've also got a talk button which is really useful so you can hit that if you want to chat to your audience without sounding um, super epic all the time. Um, tap for tempo and we've got your um, headphone volume here as well. So across the back here we've got our mic in and mic out, we've got an option for a foot switch, we've got our auxiliary in and we've got a USB and our power. So let's have a look at some of the presets and the effects within those uh, presets. So going from the left here, we've got one, two, and three, and you can see that uh, number one is highlighted at the moment, it's green. If you tap that again, it goes blue. And essentially for each of these, one, two, and three, there's an A, B, which is your green and blue, um, within those presets. So you have two presets within a preset button. So if I wanted to create a preset for number one here, it's really simple. I can add which effects I want here by turning them on and off. And uh, let's say we wanted to change those sounds slightly, so doubling, I'm going to tap that one and then you tap and hold to edit the sound of that. And you can see here we're scrolling through four different colours and these are essentially four different types of doubling within that preset and the amount. So if I wanted to change this sound, you can see I'm going up and down and this is your level, so if you want a lot of this, so this is your, I think, an octave below and you can adjust your levels or how much of that you want to come out. If you keep skipping through, it'll go to a different type of doubling and the amount of that one as well. Can you hear that? It's quite a quiet one, it's quite a high up. So let's say I wanted to select, I like this one, the, the octave below, I want just a little bit of that one. And you tap it like that, it's automatically saved to your preset, so it's really, really simple. So let's have a look at the reverbs. We can tap that on and off here again, same as we would with the doubling. And we're going to go in and edit that sound. In fact, let me take off the doubling so you can hear the reverb. So click and hold to edit and you skip through. I want a little bit of that one. That's a nice kind of clean, open reverb. Let's see what else they've got. La 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 la. La 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 la. So you can see as I'm skipping through, so this one is quite a, it's quite a quick snapback, but you want a lot of that. Whoa! If you want a lot of that, you can turn that all the way up. And uh, let's have a look at the echoes. So we're gonna have a look through these ones again. Some of these as well, you'll be able to tap tempo. So let's say you're, let's put it up, put it up, put it up. Let's put it up, da 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 da. So the tempo doesn't save to each preset, you can literally set the tempo with whatever song you're singing and if you need to change it, if you have a slightly different um, time signature in the chorus or whatever, you can tap that in uh, as you go. And following suit, I make myself cold to
and presets and what we're going to do now is check out these buttons on top so we've got tone which is a simple on and off um, and what that does is essentially it's an auto EQ so it's going to crispen up your sound so let's say we're doing some singing and it sounds fine if we add the tone then it makes it sound extra fine and you can hear it's just crispening it up and it's making it sound um, a little bit more uh, produced and professional essentially I've, I've never, never seen, seen a diamond in the flesh I cut my teeth on wedding rings in the movies And I'm not proud of my address In a torn up town No postcode envy But everybody's like gold teeth, grey juice Dripping in the bathroom Bloodstains, ball gowns, trash in the hotel room We don't care We're driving Cadillacs in our dreams But everybody's like crystal Maybach Diamonds on your timepiece Jet planes like the tigers on a gold leash We don't care We're not caught up in your love affair And we'll never be royal It don't run in our blood This kind of love just ain't for us Crave a different kind of buzz Let me be your ruler You can call me Queen Bee And baby I rule Let me live that fantasy Tone's closest neighbour, anti-feedback button is just here and again it's a simple on and off um, and what this is going to do essentially is if you've got any feedback particularly when you're singing live um, we don't have any issues here today so I can't give you a direct example of it um, but it's just going to cut your feedback moving along what we've got here is a pitch button and it's a green on and off again um, and this is essentially just a really simple auto tune for your voice you're not going to sound like um, Daft Punk or anyone like that it's not a crazy um, throwing your voice around kind of auto tune it's just going to take you to the closest semitone um, to give you a little bit of help especially singing live um, which is pretty useful um, so if we switch that on you'll be able to hear uh... so it's correcting that slightly for me um, and if you click and hold this is pretty cool it gives you like it's called pitch meter um, and it's like a tuner for your voice which is cool so uh... so you can hear I'm um, you can see, sorry, I'm singing a note there that's apparently bang on. Ah, the green is on, the green light is on. Um, and you can still use the pitch meter while switching on and off your um, pitch correct. So, ah, so you can see here when I'm going slightly flat, it's telling me. Ah, and if we switch the pitch on. Ah. She told me don't worry about it. She told me don't worry no more. We both know we can't go without it. She told me you'll never be alone. Oh, oh. Woo! I can feel my face when I'm with you. But I love it, but I love it. She told me to worry about it. She told me to worry no more. We both know we can't go. great for singing live um, but it's also great for in the studio because you can add um, effects as you go and if you're going to do that you'll want to use a condenser mic so you've got your 48 volts right here you literally click and hold it'll turn red and you can use your condenser mic um, so we're going to turn that off because we don't need that right now Another great thing about the Perform V is you don't have to worry about the gain of your microphone um, or having to work that out yourself or change the levels. Um, the pedal does it for you. So we did this at the beginning of the session, so I won't do this now, but essentially you just sing as loud as you can into the microphone or sing the loudest you're likely to within that session um, and you hold down this set button. 
um, and that sets the game for you. So it's super simple, you don't have to worry about it. Um, they've kind of done all the work for you, which is great. Right now I've got this set on my keyboard, but if I was doing a standing up performance, um, we also have a mic clip on the left here, which is great. So it means you can just clip it onto your uh, mic stand, ready to go. It's great for live or busking or um, anything like that. So that's great. So if you're using the Perform V at home and you don't want to um, put the sounds through a PA or speakers or whatever, um, you've got on the front here a little um, headphone port, which is great. And you just adjust the level of that by um, tapping this button here on and off um, and adjusting the volume in your ears for your own secret gig. Don't be fooled into thinking you just have these presets because TC Helicon have come up with a really super cool app, uh, which is it's actually specific to this product, so specific to the Perform V. Um, so it's just here, we're gonna tap on that. And it opens up basically this whole um, library of different types of effects. So they're broken down into lots of different um, things. You've got like song styles, look at all of these. There's loads and loads and loads and loads. Um, and loads of different types of genre specific effects as well. So let's say we wanna add a really cool megaphone effect and you've got a list within that as well. So it's not just one type of megaphone, it's like lots of different types of megaphone effects. So we're gonna choose one of those. Let's choose Stereo Hearts. And it'll come up with everything that's included in that preset. So your effects here, you've got um, echo and reverb, and you've got a little um, image, which essentially will show you what type of um, effect is going on there. Um, and then your hit feature as well. So earlier we mentioned that each preset can be used, like the green and the blue is almost like two different presets within that one button. When we beam this preset to the pedal, it essentially takes over this whole um, channel. So it takes over number one. And the blue light, when that comes on, that will be your hit feature. So that comes up with um, what you get on your hit feature. So you might want to use that just for a chorus. Um, so you think, okay, so it's adding a harmony, double and um, hard tune. So you can just add that just for the chorus and then switch it off again and use um, the other effect in the preset for the other parts. So let's just select one of these to um, beam across. Let's go with hard tune and radio filter. Um, and what we're going to do is literally we just hold it over the, um, the pedal, select which preset you want to um, set this new preset to and then select beam. And that's it, that's literally all you do. And you've got this preset now. Um, and this is what it sounds like. And this is, as you can see on the pedal, the blue light is selected, which is your hit uh, feature. We're gonna tap that. And now you've got your hard tune. Wah! Yeah! Which is fun. <laughs> Um, so yeah, so there's loads of different cool presets for you to choose from. Um, it's a free app as well, which is cool. Um, and yeah, there's everything, everything, everything in there you could want sound-wise um, for this pedal. So don't be put off by the fact it doesn't have um, a display. Um, you might be used to having products with a display, but if you've got an app like this, which is um, free, it's available for iPhone and for Android, um, I mean, you've got more than enough room to kind of see what which presets you want and what, what you're using basically. So um, yeah, it's awesome. It's super cool. Uh, it makes you feel like you're definitely in the 21st century. And um, it's it's nice to be able to have a product that um, it streamlines all these amazing different sounds essentially. And you can go, you know what? These are like the cream of the crop. I'm gonna use these ones right now. Um, but as it takes a split second to beam something over, um, it's, yeah, you can use any sound you like, it's great. So that was the TC Helicon Perform V, and to find out more about it, check out the links below. I've been Hannah, and this has been Anderton's TV. See you again. Excuse me for a while, while I'm wide-eyed and I'm so damn caught in the middle. I've excused you for a while, while I'm wild.